Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing video. Now, this is for a new kind of line of figures that I've just shown a recent interest in, and this is the first one I've purchased. I've kind of held off on buying one of these. It's a Q-Fig Elite figure. Um, and I've seen these periodically on Zavi and Amazon and places like that, and I thought, yeah, they look pretty decent, but there hasn't been one that has been kind of like, yes, I need that figure, I want that figure, until I saw this one. And this was on sale in Zavi, I believe. It was reduced from £30 down to 15 something like that. Um, and I pulled the figure because number well, it's one of my favourite films of all time. This Big Trouble in Little China, um, and I just think it's a really cool piece of merchandise to have, and I really really like the look of it. So here's the box. Now I've kind of I've undone the top bit so we can get straight into it, um, and it's it's a decent size as well. Like, another thing that kind of put me off getting these, I thought they were going to be really small. Um, and the ant, actually, look at the size of the box. It's a nice size there. So we've got Jack Burton, Kurt Russell, obviously from Big Trouble in Little China, as you can see there. So it comes in a really nice box there with some lovely, lovely art on it. Um, Jack Burton right there. So I'm, I was really impressed with the box, actually, when it arrived. It took me a while to kind of figure out how to open it. But what you basically do is there's a flap here with some Velcro that you pull. And it kind of opens like that then. See that nice flap there? Another brilliant, cool Jack Bird, Big Trouble in Little China poster type thing going on there. You've got that then. It says boxes are meant to be opened. So they really want you to get in here because... Um, quite a lot of the times I don't like to take figures out of boxes. I like to look at them in the boxes where you don't really have a choice. You have to get this out of the box. They want you to. So you get that flap up there. And you get like a Q-fig thing there with the socials advertised on it. And then we go inside like this. So that is the empty box. Um, really nice box. So it, come, it comes out like this, so it's like, you know, you've seen the sort of things. It's got the two sections, so I'm just going to pop this down. I'm going to open this carefully, because I don't want the figure to drop out, obviously. It's quite securely fastened in there as well. Oh, wow. I like that. Right, okay, so it's out of the plastic thing there. And this is, wow, look at this. Now that is a really cool statue. Look at it. He's got the t-shirt on that he's got in the film. He's carrying the knife that he uses in the film. It's got a really cool likeness of uh, Kurt Russell. Look at that. There's a little plastic thing here on this skeleton thing at the end, at the back. Yeah. That comes off there, put that in there. So yeah, that is from the final scene, you know, in Big Trouble in Little China. If you've seen the film, you know what I mean with this. Some of the Q figs that I've seen, this is an elite one, as I've mentioned. So some of them I've seen, you kind of just get like the figure on the front. I've seen like a Freddy one that I quite like. Uh, but that's main, well, I'm not sure if that's an elite one. I think there's like mid low one, which is like just the figure or the statue, what I mean to say. Then there's a medium one with a little bit more of the environment and an elite one with, you know, a big chunk of the environment added to it. And this one is the elite one. Honestly, I've, I've got to tell you, I think this is really, really cool. Really fabulous. And then, oh, wow. And then underneath, you've got, like, the official Big Trouble in Little China Q-Fig Elite now, I don't know what that 101 is there. I don't know if these are individually numbered. Let me just have a look at the box. Because I don't know an awful lot about these figures, as I've said. I don't, it doesn't mention anything. Oh, it's got 101 on the box there as well. So if you guys know what these know these figures well, let me know what that number is. Is it, is the num is it numbered? Don't know. Uh, or if you've got one of these figures, check the number underneath yours. Is, is it different to my number? So yeah, that's the box. Cool box. One of the coolest boxes I've seen. 
Um, this is the Jack Burton figure. Let me know, guys. Are you a fan of this? Um, I must admit, because this is the first Q fig I've ever bought. I'm super impressed with the detail. I'm super impressed with the quality. Um, I will probably be looking to add more of these to my collection uh, for sure. I'm not sure what to go for next. I might go for the Freddy Krueger one. Any of you guys know any really cool Q figs? Let me know and I'll make put a search for them. I'm really chuffed with that. That's going to have pride and place, I believe, on my display behind. So keep your eyes out, guys. I'm going to find somewhere pretty cool to put this uh, because I really, really like it. So, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys, for another unboxing video. Uh, keep joining me. Keep uh, watching the channel for loads more content, loads of reviews, top 10 lists, gaming stuff, unboxings, you name it. Loads of stuff on the way, as usual. And I will see you very soon.